is Kim here and welcome to another episode of Kim TV the tutorial version. So today we're going to actually learn how to create Facebook custom audiences inside the Facebook ads dashboard. So the purpose of creating custom audiences is quite simple. You actually give Facebook a point of reference when you have a email list for instance you get to upload that email list into Facebook and they actually match the customers or you know your clients that are in that customer list or in that email list um, they actually match them to their Facebook login and come up with a list of your customers who are on Facebook and so that way you can target that list you can also create a look-alike list from that email list that you import into Facebook what Facebook actually does is really interesting so we're gonna explore all of that right now so first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on your ads manager and you're gonna scroll all the way down to audiences from here Facebook is actually going to uh, show you the custom audiences that you've already created but the, if this is your first one you want to go ahead and create audience click on create audiences from there we're going to go ahead and do custom audiences and Facebook gives you the option to either upload a customer list do a website traffic audience or use your app activity which is very specific to app developers so for the purposes of this video we're going to actually upload a email list you can copy paste it, upload a file, or import it directly from MailChimp if that is the email service provider that you utilize. In my case, I use ActiveCampaign, so I simply exported the data in a CSV file or a text file, so a TXT file. And what you want to do is you're going to upload that information. So I'm going to click Upload, and this is my list right here. If you have trouble with the CSV file, which I usually do have problems with Facebook uh, recognizing it, all I do is I save that Excel spreadsheet to a TXT file. All you click it, all you have to do is click Save As inside of Excel and change the file format to TXT. Perfect. So we have our list in here. We're going to click on Create Audiences. We are going to go ahead and name the list. I'm going to do all list for you can click here to add a description and I'm gonna go ahead and click next perfect so our uh, list custom list was created and it's going to show up right over here and once it's ready we're gonna go ahead and get the green light from Facebook it's gonna tell us that it's ready if it's not ready it's gonna be red or if there was some kind of error so for right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what a lookalike audience is. This is basically when Facebook, you basically have to choose one of the lists, the custom lists that you have uploaded, or you can also use a page or a conversion tracking pixel from a previous ad that you have uh, ran in the past. So for this purpose of this specific um, video I'm going to use a uh, list that we imported so we imported all list for and we're gonna go ahead and choose the country great and so from here I recommend that you keep your list size small because this is going to be more similar to the uh, emails that you imported. So basically what's going to happen is Facebook is going to use this list of email subscribers that you have imported and analyze their Facebook profiles and they're going to look for interests and similarities in terms of how they utilize Facebook and they're going to go ahead and match those interests and those specific actions to other users who fit the same demographics and they're going to give you a list of around 2.5 million people that fit the same demographic so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm going to click create audience and facebook is going to create a lookalike audience right here of people that are similar to the list that we just imported now you can also create a lookalike audience from your current or existing fans, which is something a lot of people don't know. So we're going to go ahead and click on source and I'm going to type in my page name. What Facebook is going to do, it's going to go out and find people 
who match the same interests and the same behaviors as my Facebook fans. So this is great, a great alternative if you do not have an email list. So if you're just starting out, phenomenal way to target on Facebook using lookalike audiences from your existing fan base. I'm going to go ahead and cre click create. I'm going to name this fans. Oh, sorry. This is the source. Now I get to name it after here. We already, I already have a lookalike audience for my page, but this is how you would create it. So very simple, really easy to do. Finally, I'm going to show you how to create website custom audiences. And this is when you uh, basically, all you have to do is install a Facebook tracking pixel on your website. And Facebook is going to track all of your website visitors who are logged in to Facebook via some cookies. So I'm going to go ahead and create this website custom audience, and I'm going to select anyone who visits my website. But you can get more specific than that and say people who visit specific web pages, people visiting specific web pages but not others, people who have visited in a certain amount of time or custom combination. To keep it simple, I'm just going to say anyone who's visited my website, and I'm going to choose the past 90 days, include past web traffic. And I'm going to enter the name of my audience. updated. Great. You can also add a description if you have a lot of custom audiences and you want to remember what this one's about. Click create audience and once the audience is ready it's going to go ahead and um, tell me whether or not there were some errors. It says the audience is too small. I have to go ahead and check my pixel to make sure that's working. But when the audience, um, when Facebook is still kind of programming and putting that list together for you, it's going to say not ready. So you want to wait about anywhere from 30 minutes to a few hours before you use your targeting. But that is a very uh, simple and very strategic and powerful way to use custom audiences inside of your ads. Now, if you want to see how to use these custom audiences in an actual ad and how to put them to work, definitely go watch part two of this tutorial. It's going to be linked right here on the screen. All you have to do is click over and that video will show up. Um, so anyway, I hope this video was valuable to you. If it was, definitely give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions or if you want to learn anything specific about Facebook ads or Facebook custom audience audiences. This is how I get all of my video topics. It's just by you guys commenting on them and requesting specific things. So I will catch you next time on the next episode and thank you so much for watching.